Dream Studio has been released to the public with the open beta version and this simply means that anyone, even without a powerful computer, can use Stable Diffusion Generator. Dream Studio is my favorite AI image generating software. It is a direct competitor to Daily 2 and Midjourney, but it generates fantastic images for as low as one set per image. However, if you open an account on Dream Studio, you get 200 free credits to test the AI generator. On one hand, this is cool because you can generate up to 200 images for free, but on the other hand, Stable Diffusion, a text-to-image generator that is the base of the Dream Studio, was completely free on Discord. Unfortunately, there is no way to make images with Stable Diffusion on Discord, so you have to use the website or run the Stable Diffusion code on your computer, but you need a powerful graphics card with at least 6 VRAM. For Jews who don't have a powerful computer at home, the Dream Studio provides a cheap solution. And in this video I want to focus on the way to get the most out of your credits when generating images. Let's open the Dream Studio and on the right side of the screen are few sliders that are important for successful image generation and also affect the cost of the images. So if you want to save some credits, use the default 512 by 512 image dimension and lower the steps feature to 10 or 15. The steps feature in this case determines how long the program will be spent trying to generate the image. If you want to make a more complex and detailed image, then increase the steps value, which will result in better results. And if you turn it all the way down, your image may not be as high quality. For a better understanding, let's compare the mountain with the moon. If I command the AI to use fewer steps, then the details on the image are not pretty. So if I increase the steps, I will get more detailed image. But it is cost more credits because you have more realistic design, which looks better overall. Everyone who has used a text to image generator knows how difficult it is to find a good prompt. So if you want to test a new prompt and don't want to waste credits, just reduce the steps value and increase the number of images you are trying to generate. When I use this prompt, the tool gives me only few interesting designs. In this case, I would use this image, use its seat number and increase the steps up to 50. This is a method that is giving you better image output, but you are saving credits. You should also try to play with other features, most of them don't cost you credits. So, if you are starting with Dream Studio and testing different prompts to generate images, you should use your credits wisely. This way you can play with the tool much longer and generate more images. Thank you for watching the full video. I hope this was helpful and if you have any question, please use the comment section and I will try to answer them all.